Mushroom risotto with aged parmesan and chives. Arborio rice. So we're just gonna blanch this in rapid boiling water for seven minutes, okay? So in it goes. It's a short grain rice, traditionally used in risottos and paella. Uh, maintain the temperature, uh, but, but you don't want it boiling like crazy. So what's, so, the, so what's the reason for doing this? It cuts out a lot of time. Don't, don't forget also, sorry to interrupt, spatula. Spatula or spoon or anything, I mean, this is our trusty spatula. Um, goes everywhere, does everything, but just keep the rice moving every, every minute or so. And just make sure you're keeping an eye on the temperature as well. You want it boiling, but you don't want it going mad. Um, but you need it above a simmer. A simmer is not hot enough. So it needs to be boiling, but not going crazy. So we're just going to cook that for seven minutes on the timer. Uh, five minutes to go. And what we're going to do, we're going to strain that off and then lay it onto a, onto a flat tray for it to cool down quickly. So we'll see you in five minutes. See you in five minutes. So just going to strain that off. Just to show you what I mean about Chilling it down. Handy little spatula. Shame about the colour. <laughs> so I'm just going to put that onto the plate. So let's get, get it nice and flat on the plate. So what you're essentially doing is par cooking the rice, yeah? Yeah. About 50%. Yeah. You're cutting out a lot of the time. So instead of it taking 15, 20 minutes, it's going to take five when we come to finish it. So what, you could do this in the morning or the afternoon? Could you put this in the fridge? Yes, yeah, it's fine to go in the fridge, definitely. We're not going to do that now. We're going to, we're going to get our other things ready while that's cooling down. I'm just going to put that away. And then on to the next bit. The rice is cooled down nicely. I've just put it into a smaller container so it's not taking up so much space. Uh, we've got some cooked butter mushrooms here, which we just cooked in a hot pan to soften them a little bit. Um, instead of putting them in raw, I think they're they get a bit more flavour when they're cooked and we're just going to put them in again to concentrate we're, we're going to chop them in just a moment. Uh, we've got some grated parmesan, we've got some diced butter, we've got some chopped chives and we've got some veg stock, fresh veg stock that we've just made. Also going to finish with a little bit of truffle oil and a little bit of black pepper on top. What's in the veg stock? Uh, all your basic vegetables, celery, leeks, um, carrots, onions, garlic. Uh, we put some fennel in there because fennel is like an amazing flavour. Um, and it really stands out. Some bay leaf, some thyme, uh, and then generally when we make our veg stocks, when it comes up to the boil, we put all of our herb stalks, green herb stalks, basil, coriander, um, parsley, um, dill, anything like that. Chive soft trimmings, herbs. all soft herbs, and hard herbs if you want. I think rosemary is a bit too strong for it, so we stick with thyme and bay leaf, but everything else goes in, and sage and tarragon is also a bit strong. But you're softer, softer flavored, but quite fragrant herbs. What's next? All go in. Uh, so we've got a pan on, chopped sautéed butter mushrooms. So real good glug of olive oil. But I'm just going to put them in now. There you go. All that steam, you know, it's, it's amazing how much water these things hold. The mushrooms are starting to get golden on the edges and a little bit crispy. I'm going to get a bit of salt in there just to get the seasoning started. Okay, then we're going to add our rice into there. So this rice is just starting to stick to the bottom of the pan, so I don't want that. I'm going to add my, my vegetable stock. So just a little bit more veg stock in there. So we just make sure that rice is almost cooked, make sure that the moisture is almost gone. It's still a little bit, tiny bit of moisture in there. It's nice and, you know, it's got the, the gluten from the, the, sorry, the starch from the, the rice. You can see that's really nice and thick. So now, I'm going to add some parmesan. Don't be shy with any of that. Almost a bit more butter. Okay, so I'm just going to take that off the heat now. I don't want it. I don't want any more moisture to come out of that. Okay, so what's the kind of the consistency you're looking for when you, you say, right, it's ready to come off, what is it you... You want this the signal. kind of glossy, there's an emulsion of the, the stock and the butter and the parmesan in there. So it's not creamy, but it's emulsified. I'm just going to add a little bit more. I mean, this is not for the faint-hearted. I've probably put about 100 grams of butter in this. Nice and rich, and I'm maybe going to get a bit more of that parmesan in there just to finish it off. I'm also going to add a tiny, tiny bit 
truffle oil, just to give it a little bit of fragrance. It's very strong truffle oil, so you know, again, it's something you need to be very careful with. Oh, it sounds like stringy. Hopefully you can see that, but nice and cheesy. How many uh, risottos do you think you've made in your life? How many risottos? Not as many as you. Yeah, I reckon I've made a million, maybe. 800,000. <laughs> that's a, that's one Six of years of clergies, I reckon, you know. I'm pretty sure Scott's going to enjoy that. Sprinkling them all the way over the top. Mushroom risotto, aged parmesan, and chives. Yeah.